Hey, what's up YouTube? DIY Guy here. Today I'm working on my 2017 Honda Ridgeline and I'm going to be installing new rear door checks, uh, rear door stops on the truck. Uh, one of the issues with the early second generation Honda Ridgelines is that the rear door doesn't open up that far. Uh, so it, it's a little bit uh, hard to get in and load things in the rear door. So I'm going to be installing new rear door checks that allow it to open up wider so i'll show you the problem and then i'll walk you through the solution so let's get started okay so measuring the front door opening if we have a measurement here you can see that's almost 34 inches across there so that's quite a wide door opening on the front door okay so if we look at this measurement beforehand on this side we can see that we have about um, it's about 22 inches here to here um, the door just doesn't open up if you wanted to put a bike or something in there you kind of have to go at an angle you can't just put stuff straight in so we're gonna put the new door stop on and open that up wider okay so going inside the driver's side rear door uh, this is the part we're going to be replacing here it's just not long enough to let the door open up wide and we're going to be replacing it with a longer version which is the ones used on the front door there's actually two different part numbers because there's a left and right side i will leave the part number down in the description um, but in order to get this out we're going to take these two bolts out and this one here but these need to be removed from inside the door panel. So this is fairly straightforward to get the door panel off. There's really only three screws on there and then some pressure clips around the edges. So let's take that off. Okay, so the first ones are gonna be located here behind this panel. So if we get something to kind of pull this down, um, let's pull this little plastic thing away you can see we need to take these two screws out. So let's get those out and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so I got those out with my Phillips screwdriver and we're gonna move on to the next one, which is going to be down here underneath this thing. So again, there's a little slot here. Get something in there and pry that up. And you can see there's another one here that we need to take out. Okay, so the next step is to pull the plastic panel off here. Now, I have a set of uh, trim, plastic trim removal tools that I typically use. Um, I will start, because I don't want to scratch the metal part. So I'm going to get down underneath here and pry this out. As you can hear, they're coming loose. So after you get the first few loose, so you can kind of grab underneath the door and start pulling around the edges till you get them all loose. And then this is gonna be hung up here. The top part of it is just hung on the door sill, so. So if we kind of move this out of the way here, we're going to come over to this side. We'll move this out of the way. You can see their speaker here um, has got a screw that we need to take out there. Because what we need to do is get our arm up in there to loosen the inside of those bolts. You know, getting after getting that one screw out, you might have to take something and pry this out. It's still a little bit of a tight fit here. And then lift up on the speaker and pull it out. You can see that there's a, a few plastic clips here, so don't 
they're gonna go in here. So don't just pull it straight out. Make sure that those plastic clips are in there. So when you get that out, pull the top out a little bit, and lift it out. Okay. Now we can just either set this out of the way or be careful of the wires. I'm just gonna disconnect by pinching on the sides and pulling this straight out. we got the speaker out got the door panel off we're ready to take off the old door stop so this is a 12 millimeter we're going to use a socket on there and take this one off first and then well these are two uh 10 millimeters so we're going to take each of these off okay i've got the 12 millimeter bolt out that has some blue loctite on it so it comes out kind of hard then the two 10 millimeter ones, um, they come off, got some washers on them, so don't lose that. And then uh, this won't come out this way, that's why we have to reach up through here and take the old one out. So there we have the old one out, now we just have to swap the new one in. Okay, so got the new one uh, we're just going to swap the new one in here, but it's going to be the reverse of what we just did. So I'm going to take this and I'll put it up through here so that it comes out here. And then I'm going to uh, put the uh, two 10 millimeter bolts in right there. Okay, so I got the two 10 millimeter bolts in there, 12 one there. Um, so in order to get the door panel back on, uh, the last thing we got to do before we do that is put the speaker back on. And again, this is the top. These two plastic clips here are going to hang in those slots there on the door. Um, but we want to reconnect the uh, wire and then we'll put this in. And so we got the wire on there. We're gonna put those two plastic clips in there. And then we're gonna take our long screw that we have at the top, get that put back in there. Hold our speaker in and we can get the door panel back on. Okay, now the first step of putting the door panel on is making sure that we have the top part on. It's going to hang on that ledge there, so I'm trying to do this one again. Make sure you have it pushed in at the top. You can swing the bottom out a little bit. Um, and uh, I'm probably going to need two hands to do this. Okay, so that slides in there. You can feel it pushed down now. The next part is... All of these, um, you can see here, these green pressure clips are gonna get pushed in. So I'm just gonna go around the edge and push those in so you can hear them uh, clip in. All right, so we got the door panel on, pushed in the pressure clips. Now we're gonna put the uh, screw back in the armrest. Remember, there's one screw here. With the uh, panel that goes in there to cover that up. Clip that down. And then there are two screws here behind the handle. And those need to go back in. And then the cover plate gets put back on those. And then we'll be ready to uh, Kind of remeasure, show you. It's not, you know, going to be 27 inches, but it'll be more than what we had. Um, put this it back in this way. We're going to put the the bottom in first, and then clip it up. Okay. Okay. Now, if we're just kind of look looking at this, 
same measurement that we had before. Um, we had to go from the door to the armrest. It's about, uh, I got about 27 inches there. So it goes from about 22 to 27. So that gives us enough room to get things like if you if you were going to slide a bicycle in there with the seats up, you have more room. You don't have to go at an angle. You can kind of go straight in now. Okay, so that's it. You just have to do the other one the exact same way. Uh, so I'm going to go do the other one now. And uh, I hope this video was helpful. I'll put a list of tools down in the description. And if you have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. And if you can uh, press the like button for me or subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps me out. Thanks.